So today's video is going to be a little bit different from our standard videos and we're going to deviate a little bit from our standard format as I try to get a stride for maybe how this type of video is going to work if we do more in the future. I definitely plan to do more. Uh, we'll see how you guys like that and what that looks going ahead. But I'm going to try to do a little bit more live action. Now, standardly, I try to stay away from this type of video because I find them harder to follow than the type we do with the more academic style presentations. And I may even cut some slides into this as we go along. But Today's video is going to be about using our WordPress container that we installed in Wednesday's video as a target, as well as how to use some of this software available for free as part of the Kali suite or on the internet that we can download and install even in a container to see if our project is secure and start to do a security auditing process. This is not meant to be an in-depth dive into hacking WordPress or even security auditing, but more or less a basic show of how you can start doing that and learning. So setting up targets and exploiting is the main reason why I originally got into home virtualization servers. So it's kind of a fun little thing to do. And it's also kind of fun to do with your buddies. You can, in some cases, set up multiple VMs and some VPN access and race with your buddies on a challenge. Uh, I got some more on that content coming up in future videos, but let's get to today's video now. So the first thing that you're going to want to do now that you're at your Proxmox web interface is to activate both your Kali image and your WordPress image that we set up in Wednesday's video. To do that, we're going to pretty much follow the same steps that we have in every other video and every other install tutorial by highlighting the container or VM that we want to install and clicking start. So the first one we need to start here is 106 and I've named it WordPress as kind of a inside joke among a few of my friends, but this is our WordPress container. So let's go ahead and start that and we'll see that come up to light. Now I have this Kali WP scan image. This is my Kali image that I set up as a linked clone back to my Kali 2021.1 template that I developed in a previous video. But let's go ahead and fire that up. And this is going to use Remote Viewer or Spice. So Note if you're using no ENC that you're going to see a few extra screens here that normally don't appear. So we're going to hit console and get this screen and we're just going to click OK. And we're going to have a remote viewer session open up. Now, my home lab server is a FM1 socket APU, so it's quite old at this point, but no, it still works pretty well for this type of content, but we are going to be quite a bit slower 
than if you were running on a newer Ryzen or even like a Power Edge 720 or 710. It, this is going to be slower, but it still works and it's still fun to learn and run this software on. So we're going to go ahead and log into this Kali session. And I've, as you can see, I've set up really simple user logins and stuff. This is not meant for a web use type of system. And we're presented with a terminal screen off the back because of some of the work I was doing testing for this video presentation prior to doing it. So let's just go ahead and close that. And the first thing I want to show you is where I got my password list. And I want to show you that so you can get some resources to simply use. So we're going to go here and we're just going to enter a web browser. And again, I apologize, this server is a little slow. So just wait a minute and our web browser will come up. And let's go ahead and just head over to Google. I know, but it works. If you don't already know about the Chicken Man game, it's a pretty interesting little project that we have that we're going to use and set up and install in an upcoming video. So please stay tuned and remember to subscribe to see that content. But it's a Wi-Fi hacking game and I'm going to show you some different scenarios for some cool little things that you can do even in this COVID time with some buddies when we can't get together in person or go to conferences to have some fun using this same script uh, that's available here on GitHub. So we're just going to go ahead and I've already done it, but go ahead and download the zip. So I've already done this as I was looking for some other stuff. So I'm just going to go here to my download folder. You can see our zip and you can see my extracted version. Now we can open that and go to the chicken day folder, which this holds a bunch of password lists and stuff, which is the reason we're downloading this today. Open the password lists and I mean, you can use any of these password lists. As you can see, like this first one's 14 megs, uh, 81 bytes, and just kind of scroll through and look at the sizes of these. And you can see that this one's definitely the smallest file that we have. So I just went ahead and I just copy pasted it on to my desktop. That's entirely up to you. I just did it for ease. So we can exit this stuff out now that we have a password list. And now we can begin looking at our WordPress server. The first step is kind of to look at vulnerabilities and begin to see if there are any that we can target. So let's just open up that terminal interface. And like I said, I've done some pre-testing, so I have some commands already set up in here for doing just this. But if you just wanted to like evaluate your container and see if there were any vulnerabilities, you can run a command that looks like this. Now, I'm going to show you a few other tricks that you may want to do, but let's actually go ahead and do something first. Let's run WP scan dash dash help. Oh, I need to run that as sudo. And this brings up a really good tutorial. Now, if you're planning on using WP scan for hacking or even threat analysis, it's a really good thing. 
let's look at this. Now, um, we can look at some of these different commands, and this will really explain what some of the commands that we're going to use today do. The first one we want to take note of is this URL command. We're definitely going to be using that. Then we're going to use things like this dash E. We're going to want to take note of this and take note of what some of these other things use because we're going to target actually the vulnerable plugins at one point in this session today. And for those of you that are here more looking to just evaluate your WordPress setup that you're installing that you're going to use, you're going to want to take note of the API tokens command. Now, I'm not going to use this today, but essentially, if you head over here to the WP scan website here, which is going to take a second, and we can look at this API token here. They have a plan, it's free. They have a free one for 25 APIs. Uh, note that every single plugin or theme that you send them counts as a request. But you can go ahead here and register and get an API token and use that to really find out a lot about what's vulnerable and what's vulnerable to known vulnerabilities on your WordPress site to evaluate problems. But let's go ahead now and we're just gonna run this first command. This is going to tell us quite a bit about our WordPress setup in general. Now, note, we have no username or anything that shows up here. We more or less just scanned it for known vulnerabilities and information. Now, we're not going to get a lot back because we're not using that API token, but um, it's a good, we can start to really break down and kind of see what this server looks like by looking through this information. And we can see that everything's updated. There are a few steps. I showed you the first one in Wednesday's video, but there was three or four other locations that things needed to be updated in. But you know, you can see the different versions of themes. You can see things that are installed like WPCron and other things that you can begin to try to use to take advantage of this WordPress website. So here's a theme that's in version 2.1. It's the theme that is being used here as part of this site. If you haven't seen this site or didn't see Wednesday's video, we can fifty nine. Here is the website. It's really simple. I've changed nothing in it. I just using it as a target. But anyways, we can go ahead and kind of look at this and break it down. So what we want to do is, well, let's log in first and make sure that we have a vulnerable password. So to log in, we showed this in Wednesday's video, but WP admin, I'm already logged in here. But if we go down here to users and we select this and we edit, we can go down here and set new password. It's going to suggest a super strong password. Let's go ahead. Oh, well, I know it, but let's show you how I'm getting that information. So 
we go here and we go CD, let's just head to the desktop and run LS because I'm lazy. And then we can type in sudo nano and here's the link. So here's the password list displayed. We could have probably done this just by clicking on it on our desktop, but so we see a list of passwords. I'm just test is here. Um, I'm going to use that. I actually added it today so I could use this list, but let's go ahead and change this password to test. Yes, we know it's weak, but that's cool. Update profile. Now we can go ahead and if I can get it to work and log out and then we can log in here and we can see that it indeed works. So we know that this is set up and we have a weak password for the rest of today's testing. So go ahead, exit out of this. That's cool. So the first thing we want to do is we want to target vulnerable plugins. And by targeting vulnerable plugins and using a couple of other settings that dash e command actually we can actually back out what the different users installed on our wordpress server are so if i run this it's going to go through its process and you can see here Interesting, no plugins found, of course. So for some odd reason, probably due to updates and restarting our server between these videos, um, the plugin is updated and we're not able to see the password. Uh, gonna make it a little bit harder, of course, we do know the password. So, um, well, let's try one other thing. Let's see if we can back out some more information with just this. So this is gonna target all types. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but let's see if we can maybe possibly get a username. There we go. So we were able to be a little bit more aggressive and actually get a username. So our username is admin. So the last step is actually to use that word list that we set up. So we're gonna enter the same URL dash E lowercase u and then a dash u, uppercase dash u, which is the username we want to target is admin. And then we're gonna target with a dash p our password list. So now when we go ahead and run WP scan this time around, we're going to actually try to attack with a brute force that admin account with the password. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Here you go. So we were actually able to, no doubt because the password was in it, target the password here at, and get the printout of the password. Now, that's all I really plan to show you for today's video. And I hope that I definitely gave you a taste of how easy WordPress is to kind of attack or even use WP scan to protect your WordPress website and make sure that you're doing at least some form of security auditing and hopefully also inspired you 
to find a new use for your home lab server or something that you might enjoy practicing and learning. Cybersecurity is a growing industry and penetration testing is a fairly well-paying job at this point for somebody that's definitely good. Um, you have a long ways and a lot of practicing to do, but you might find a new hobby or interest or something that you can use to make money and help out your friends and family, or even maybe start a consulting business eventually one day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation on using your home lab server and we're able to take away something on using Kali to do some penetration testing on your WordPress container that we set up. Have a good night.